Let's go. Need something to download. Hey technician, how are you mate? Let me just get the mic set up and we're laughing, cooking with gas, cooking with gas. Thanks mate for being first in here. Hey Z. Oh, how are you me on mate? You good? <laughs> MW and Paul, how you going crew? Alright, got to go out and get a couple more um, power banks tonight, which is okay. Hey. Hey, that's much better. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Alright, so that can go in there. How much battery life we got on that? Why is it still in the red? Don't get that. Anyway, yeah, back down here again, famo. We did pretty well yesterday, so I thought I'd come back down for another winter fish, you know? So, let's see how we go. Let's get, I thought I'd, I'm trying to do a few things with the um, filming that it's so different on, um, this platform compared to the old one but anyway we won't worry about going into that because we don't need to talk about the old one right and uh yep so what i should do what i might do let me just um I think our um, best idea is to use the charge on this, on this. Is that charging? It sure is, lovely. So I'll leave that up there. And I will use this phone. Just give me a second, Famo. Back in a second, hang on. <laughs> yes, it's me.
Here we are, we're in. Hey! Seven people watching. Excellent. Thanks, crew. Here we are, we're in. Hey! Sith Ural, how are you, mate? Okay, so, welcome everyone. Uh, once again, a big shout out to our channel sponsors, Millard Marine, Qualia Reels, and of course, Rode Microphones. I look like a bit of an octopus at the moment with all the wires and all that sort of stuff, but that's all right, that's how we've got to keep the stream going. It's Mad Johnny, how are you? 1,218 new cases, wow. 1,218 new cases, man, wow. I, uh, yeah, the heart goes out to everyone that's in COVID lockdown at the moment, mate. Oh, I don't know what to say to that. Um, okay, famo. So, this spot for some reason is quite a good spot. Three kilometres that way, the water's that muddy, you can't see that far underneath the surface. Here, I could polarise brim in the um, water here, no dramas whatsoever. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a, a bit of a fish leading into night time. We're going to fish till about six, seven o'clock, just see how it goes. And look, people, thank you very, very much for the support. Okay, uh, we're nearly up to a thousand watched hours on YouTube. All right, and uh, that's just fantastic. Excuse me for a second. Okay, 1,218 new cases, unbelievable. Uh, oh, Coyote, how are you mate? Welcome to the stream. No nah, mate, I haven't uh, streamed on Twitch for uh, three months, Johnny. But that's right, people are still trying to get clout from me, which I find very funny, you know. But no, that's how it goes, doesn't it? So, yes, I haven't... Um, I've sent out... Yeah, good, Coyote. Thanks for coming in, mate. I've sent out all my um, messages to the people that were still subbing. Um, and I've removed all the emotes from the um, channel as well. So, uh, this is it, fam. And uh, 23rd of December, my partnership goes back to Twitch, which suits me just fine, okay? So, uh, yeah, it's one of those things, isn't it, you know? But um, we're doing fine, everything's doing good. So that's what we uh, want to achieve. We want to achieve good content, you know? And uh, that's what we're doing. And personally, I think this is a better platform for live streaming anyway. If you have a look at the quality of the picture compared to the old platform, just the contrasts and everything is just out of this world. I just gotta, you know, keep uh, pumping out the content. Not going back to Twitch. Coyote, who said that? Hey, Paul. Yeah, I mean, look at it, it's fantastic. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to do a uh, better product for the community, mate, you know? <laughs> Paul, COVID has that effect on people, okay? After a while, even the kangaroos look like supermodels, you know? All right. Get the trusty old faithful rods out. Get the old trusty hooks. Uh. Oh no, it's alright Coyote, I, I haven't gone back to Twitch at all mate. I did one final stream back in June, right, and that was it. Um, you know, but hey, um, yeah, sorry about that, Johnny. I still can't figure out Streamlabs. It is a beast unto itself, Famo. Right, I just still can't figure it out. Right, that's still charging. 
flat out too by the looks of it. Now, that is not going to draw, uh, let's say, blue cable. And thanks for giving up your time to come in and watch the stream, fam. Really good of you. Greatly appreciated. Right, let's chuck that in there. Let's chuck that in there. Let's get that going there. Oh, tell me about it, Blue Ring Gaming. So, Well, Johnny, you know, apparently it has settings. So I thought I'd set the settings. And, uh, Nitsky. Okay, crew. Now, what we're going to do is um, I'm doing uh, some brim fishing this afternoon. Now, brim fishing is one of those uh, species of, or one of the types of fishing that targets a particularly vulnerable species because black brim are a very vulnerable fish. The, you know, some days you don't get one, then the other days you go out, it's like throwing a tennis ball to a puppy, you know. Uh, the most number of brim I've ever caught in a weekend is over 300, and don't worry, I let most of them go. So, um, you know, it's just one of those things, fam. Me personally, I don't eat brim. Yeah, Sith, don't know, mate. And even I think programmers tend to suicide from Streamlabs, but, you know. Right, so, what I'm using today, one of the first myths with um, brim is you've got to use a re really heavy... Uh, uh, later, you know, so Okay That was just a joke Johnny, all right, that was just ad-libbing to the situation all right So there was no nasty sentiment involved in that, okay? All right. <laughs> I'll tell you what, mate, one thing that's happening with COVID, it's tipping um, a lot of people nearly to the edge, you know? Um, I don't know what's being done to combat it, but in terms of like the stress on people that they have. So, um, yeah, you know what I mean? Just uh, so many people are at tipping point now. And I, I feel really sorry for everyone on the East Coast, you know. Oh. Oh, Sith, I always do seven. Okay? I always do seven. It's just uh, easier. All right, now. I'm... Oh, it is Blue Ren Gaming, you know. And I mean, um... Ironically, it was a programmer that told me that. Okay? So, anyway, I won't go into it. It is a big issue, mate. And um, COVID is taking its toll on people quite badly. Uh, you know, it's just, um, wow. I don't know how a lot of people are coping. Um, especially with the fact of the isolation and that. And, um, yeah, some of the statistics that are coming out... Uh, really quite frightening actually so I don't know how it's going to be combated and that sort of stuff but yeah I just um, there is yeah I some people that are quite vulnerable at the moment and I mean COVID hasn't helped obviously you know we don't realize how lucky we are in Western Australia you know what I mean Kyle Kimmy how are you bud what's going on now people with hooks and that sort of stuff don't get um I don't know MW you know it's just um there was an analogy used recently about um, like being in a cave or something and I, I watched it and I was just like we're not like Neanderthals or you know Homo erectus or anything like that we're people and to use the cave analogy was a bit well mate there's a lot of people struggling out there at the moment not everyone is a politician you know and I was a bit gobsmacked by that So, I, pff, yeah, still gobsmacked by it, you know.
Um, C3L, what's a PA? Is that another form for a doctorate or? The other thing is too, oh, personal assistant, okay. The other thing is too, um, you know, with, uh, I mean, something as simple as being able, oh, master's degree in physician assistance. Oh, wow, okay. You know, being able to go out for a fish like this is just such a privilege. Do you know what I mean? So. Let me just defrost this muley. All right, famo, so this is what we're gonna do, right? What I'm doing is I'm running a sinker between two swivels, okay? And then we've cut a bit of the tail off. This is the first bait. Oh, okay. Just gonna put it out at the edge of that snag and leave it down. Okay. Now I don't think there's gonna be any boats out on the river today. Yeah, MW, unfortunately I don't have any hair for the wind to go through, mate, you know? There we go, that's better. Now we can see what we're doing, fam. Excellent. Right, so. Okay. Find that in a second. Edin oh, Echidna, hey mate, how you going? Oh wow. And what we're going to do now is use the other part of that bait. Probably not MW, as it's not that type of platform. Mm. 
All right, so we're going to send the long cast out across the river there. We've got the short cast in here. And let's hope that we can actually get a fish fam. All right, good. We're outside. Okay. Hey, Planet Hunter, who? Jake, Paul, and Tyron Woodley. Tyro Tyrone Woodley? Isn't he an ex-MMA world champ or something? Who won? I don't get wrapped up in that sort of stuff, guys. I just, yeah. Yeah, Echidna. They're a... Uh, the reason why it's called a 28, it's a green body with a... Uh, uh, sort of like a yellow ring and a, a black head and um, I think it's got red eyes so with that um, when the English settlers came out here obviously being English they thought that it said 28 so I don't know that's that's what it's called oh hang on we're getting bites fam we're getting bites on the big one or the little one let's have a look No, no, it's on the big one. Hang on, there's a brim over there. There's one here too. First cast, we're getting a bite. Come on. I'm going to have to send this cast across the river, I think. No, that's muley, I think. I don't think that's fish. Okay, so this is what we're going to do, right? We're going to do a mid-water cast. About there, just in the edge of that shade. and see if we can get something straight out of the channel. Oh. Thanks, Sif. So, did Woodley and did Woodley and this Paul guy have a fight or something? Did they, or have they already fought, or they're going to fight, or is it like a... Is, oh, hang on. Isn't there a Logan Paul that fought KSI or something? Wasn't there a Logan Paul? Oh, tomorrow. Okay, so what's your tip for the fight? I'll have to have a look at that. Oh, hang on. I know who that is. So, yeah, sorry, people. I don't really pay much attention to all that hype sort of stuff on, like, YouTube and social media. I just don't really get into it because I've got too much of my own stuff going on, you know? I think I need to recast into the shadows over there because all the sunlight's on this side. So. Oh, really, Blue Wren? Oh, okay. But see, how can you go from um, YouTube to fighting? Fighting's so difficult. I mean, you have to, um, you have to live boxing, don't you? I mean, um, isn't that...
Oh, that's right, because um, Mayweather fought... Oh, yeah, I get it now. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I, I get it now. I get it. Oh, are they? Okay. Isn't... Um, isn't that the guy... Hang on, now you're starting to get my memory, memory working. Isn't that the guy that went to a Japanese forest or something? And... And there was a guy that suicided. Is that the one that he sort of... Um... <sighs> Lovely, that's better. All right. Nice long cast. That's exactly the spot we cast last time when he got busted off from that big fish, fam. Which I still, to this day, lose sleep over. Let me just bring this one in now. Hey, that was a bite, you little bugger. There you go, famo. As soon as I moved the bait, right, we got hit. Interesting. Hey, Kyle, yeah, it's good, isn't it? <laughs> They're just, uh... I might even throw a few sloth plastics around there. Yeah. Hey, B. Rye, how are you, mate? Welcome to the stream. Oh, that's exactly right, Kyle. You know the like the the picture quality is just unbelievable. Okay. Oh yeah, this is a much better. And look, people, if you're an aspiring streamer out there, right, don't get sucked into thinking that you've got to buy a backpack to provide good quality product. I'm just using a phone. Right, and that's all you need. Don't get sucked into, you know, people trying to sell you a backpack. To get a decent backpack that'll stream properly, it's about four grand US, and the download's a thousand a month. When the COVID finishes, it's probably gonna go up. Nice. Right. Got a couple of long range presentations. What's happened is, fam? Right, uh, yesterday when we were catching fish here, we had a fair bit of shade, right? Whereas now in the afternoon, all the shade's on the other side of the river. As the sun moves across, the shade will end up towards us. Then once it's towards us a bit closer, then what we'll do is we'll start casting a bit closer. But we're gonna get eaten by mosquitoes tonight. When you've got too many mosquitoes, even the air guard doesn't work, right? But prepared to do that. Yesterday we got some brim here. I got busted off by two big brim, so that's why we're back. And the other thing is too, it's been raining all day. I still can't get on the beach. Friday, we've got a special, uh, Pugzilla, how are you, bud? Friday, we've got a special stream planned and um, I'm waiting for the permits because unfortunately, Famo, so many people are doing anything to become relevant nowadays. <coughs> Excuse me, they're even trying to do it to sort of break the law just to be relevant. Oh, that's not good, hang on. And, um, it's worse so if you're live streaming on a platform like twitch right it's deemed as commercial so you need a license or a permit to stream practically anywhere in the state now right and um, so I've been applying for permits uh, to relevant areas that we're going to be doing streaming and that sort of stuff and um, I've got most of them approved and Wednesday morning we'll be doing our normal uh, turtle stream okay with the loghead turtles so and 
an NX80 camera. Oh, nice one. So yeah, don't get sucked. If you're an IRL, IRL streamer, don't get sucked into um, thinking about buying a backpack, right? Four grand US, a thousand a month US, that's 16 grand in a year, which is about 22 to $24,000 Australian compared to the uh, difference in the exchange rate. So, you know, it's an unnecessary expense. I just use a phone, okay? Uh, don't buy the Samsung 21, wait for the 22 to come out. Apparently the 22 is gonna have PC technology in it. They've got a new camera with a much bigger lens that's gonna do much more things than the old ones. But this is just straight out of the phone, you know? You certainly do. Hey Casper, how are you bud? Just, um, just the toxic direction of the platform, mate. Okay, but that's my view and remember, right, Please don't take offence to anything I say, right? I don't say anything in malice, okay? Um, or anything like that. And with Twitch, this is purely my opinion, right? But me personally, the whole platform's just going toxic. And I wanted to, with IRL streaming, um, I think YouTube is the future. And um, yeah, I decided to move across and it's the best thing I ever did. So we're handing our partnership back on the 23rd of December and if they like ban me or cancel it, you know, it would probably make life a lot easier, so. Oh, nice one. Hey, Devil's Rock, how are you? Yeah, if you can get a sponsor, it's like anything in life. If you can get a sponsor, that's all good and well, but... <sighs> You know, I got a lot of messages from streamers. Oh, you know, you got to. If I didn't get given the backpack by Twitch or have it sent to me, I would never have been able to afford one. Okay? Now, the biggest problem and the biggest uh, enemy you've got with streaming is heat because no electronics in the world are designed for Australian conditions, fam. Okay? They're all designed for Europe and Asia and all those places. So. Whereas we're hot for nine months of the year, those places aren't. And. Even when I got that one from Twitch, I always had constant problems with the uh, modems overheating and all that. And I mean, I appreciate the gesture, but I lost that many streams from um, that. I went back to the phone and um, it just made life easy, you know. So you don't, don't get sucked into buying a backpack, okay? Oh, where'd you go camping, mate? Well, it's interesting, Casper, that you mentioned that because, uh, you know, <sighs> Twitch initially was a gaming website, as everyone knows, right? And um, okay. Oh, thanks, Paul. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, too, I thought, I thought it was a big um, slap in the face to a lot of the fishing streamers when they brought out that pool, like, hot tub and beach category. You don't know how old the people on their streaming are. There's no membership-based platform to determine how old the viewers are. So, I'm sorry, but if I'm partnered, I'm condoning that, so that's why I left, right? And, um, oh, you know, there's that many fishing streamers that are trying to do the job on Twitch and there's no fishing category, you know, then they bring that out. So, I mean, the other thing is too, you've got so many Twitch streamers now, like deliberately targeting sharks. And you mark my words, and I had this in a tweet when I left in June, Queensland in Australia is going to become the Florida of USA, right? And we're going to have so many streamers out of Queensland soon on Twitch. It's going to be totally saturated, fam, you know? And, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 
Oh, they do, Paul. Yeah, gaming's a different story, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I know that B-Ride, but I mean, um, that's, that's why I moved to YouTube. And look, we're starting again. I know that, but I'm happy. I need to be able to sleep at night, you know? And we have so many familiar faces that have come across from YouTube, uh, from, like, the old platform to YouTube. And uh, it's funny, when you leave and you look back, you know, I mean... One good thing to do in life is when you're looking at a particular subject or group or whatever, sort of take a step back and view it as a detached observer. And, I mean, yeah, it's just... Uh, I think the best thing for me to do is wait till December when I hand the partnership back, fam. What I'll do when I hand the partnership back, then the gloves are gonna be off and I'm gonna do some YouTube content about it, right? And I'm even going to, um, I'm even gonna show on YouTube the letter that I sent to him from a lawyer. So yeah, it was pretty serious. And um, all right, we've got something hitting the big bait across the river there, but obviously it's too small to register. Just gonna wait for a bite, Famo. It's not as in your face though, Bri, because, you know, on YouTube, I mean, it comes down to parental control, doesn't it? If they're under the age to be an adult, you know, the parents have to control what's going on. And um, at least it doesn't get thrown. I mean, when the pool, hot tub and beach category came out, on the recommended channels, six out of the 10 channels were in that category. And I mean, it's one of the fastest growing categories on the platform now, you know? The other thing that I found bad was within eight hours or nine hours of the platform going live, there was someone streaming nude on there, you know, from what someone told me. So yeah, I don't know. Like, and if they couldn't see that happening, I don't know who's making the decisions, you know? Hey Donald, how are you? I'm good, Donald, yourself? How's sunny Scotland, bud? But anyway, it's like anything, I think it comes down to intent. So, um, yeah, I don't have any ill intent to anyone on the content and that sort of stuff. So, yeah, I mean, I prefer YouTube too, fam. Isn't it nice to be able to watch a stream without sound alerts going off, you know, without, I mean, there's no pressure to sob or anything like that. So it's just great, you know, it's us, the environment, everyone's just interacting, it's laid back and chilled, brilliant, you know? So, personally, I think this is how streaming should be, you know what I mean? But anyway. And the other thing is too, fam, thanks for watching. We're up to, uh, we're nearly up to a thousand watched hours. We've only got um, 3,000 to go. So, with some good streams under our belt, it shouldn't be too far away. Hopefully Friday we can do a beach fishing stream, fam. But the only problem is, the ocean is right up to the sand dunes. There's literally no beach to drive on, so I can't really get out there. I might have to walk down to a spot. Thank you, Austin. Thanks, Austin. Thanks, Paul. Hmm. Hey Jordan, how are you? We got a couple yesterday, mate. Oh really, mate? Oi.
Oh, that's right, Donald. We have so many um, birds and varieties of birds here in WA, mate. So. The other thing is too, fam, I really enjoy live streaming, okay? And um, it's just good with the solitude of the streaming. Me personally, uh, I mean, Shook came over last year for three weeks, but I don't think I'm gonna be streaming with anyone anymore because I just wanna do it on my own now and just invite the community and myself and that way we can appreciate things together, you know? So, that way it's all, you know, the community and myself. So we have got some big streams planned. I've got to get the car looked at Tuesday. We're gonna head down to Walpole a fair bit this year and uh, we'll work through it, you know. I've got a heap of stuff to do down the coast here, all the way down to Dunsborough, Augusta, you know, Bustleton. Um, and with the new technology that I've discovered, I'm hoping we can get signal in remote areas. If we can do that, it'll make life easier. Oh, good on you, Jordan. Oh, nice one, Austin. James, how are you, bud? And this is the good thing about this, fam. It's peaceful, you know? Like, we're just chilled out. We're just relaxing. Everything's good. And, I mean, that's the good thing, you know. We could go anywhere, pull up, start live streaming, away we go. That's what it's about, you know. And as long as we can get reception, we should be able to live stream. And I just want to share the experience that I've had with where we're fishing and how we're fishing. There's one spot down south where there's a... Why does the Streamlabs do that? Wow. Sorry, Johnny. I'll get onto that, mate. I think that's a filter so no one can spam the chat. You know how some places they have those people that put those rude sort of spam emotes in where it looks like something it's not meant to? <laughs> down, Johnny. Calm down, buddy. It's all right. Relax, mate. You're a bit, bit tense. A bit tense, Johnny. A bit tense. Oh, nice one, Jordan. And this is the good thing, famo. You know, you can fit, when the streams start getting busy again, you can fit 30 or 40 people on the phone in the car and just show what we're doing. So this is what it's about. Tell you what, that Wesley's not doing me any favours with no hair. I think we've probably got another hour and a half of sunlight left. Then once the hour and a half of sunlight's left, hopefully we can get ourselves a River Mulloway or something else. So what have you all been doing today? I know we've got people from Australia and America and Scotland. I think we've got a couple from England in here. What have you been up to? You're welcome, James. Pinny Basher, ideally live bait works well, but this is the other problem too, Fab. If you're ever watching a Twitch stream and you see a Twitch streamer using an undersized fish as live bait like a tailor, right? That's actually against the law. You're only allowed, that's got a minimum legal size, right? So here, herring works well, like herring strip baits. Um, bony brim, like the bony herring out of the river work really well. Um, and muleys and that sort of stuff. But I mean, with Mulloway, when you're going to the big saltwater rivers, you've got quite a few, um, 
quite a few. I mean, I've put white bait on a hook, like I've had a big 6 -o and put about 10 big white bait on it, put that out with no sinker, that's caught Mulloway. Then I've put about six prawns on there with no shells, sent that out, that's caught, caught Mulloway. You know, it, it varies at different times of year. Uh, ideally though, muleys work pretty well. Uh, hey there, 468. Germany, ah, Sea of Thieves, okay. Yeah, they're bad everywhere. Wait till we go and do a marining stream, Devil's Rock. The, the mozzies down there are like little mini planes. You hear, mm, and they go, mm, and someone goes, ow, you know? As soon as they land, you know that they're laying into someone. That's not the wind that's making the line do that. Okay, so there must be something small really laying into that bait. Now look, um, for some reason, there's no brim across that side of the river because I'm not getting any bites. I'm going to go back to this side because yesterday we were like getting a bite every five or ten minutes, you know. And the snag goes out about another 10 feet past here, so. And look, people, if you're in COVID, I'm really sorry to hear, uh, lockdown, I'm really sorry to hear that. I'm hoping this stream can put a smile on your face and give you a bit of cheer, you know, because, I mean, we had a five-day regional lockdown and I nearly went feral, seriously. I don't know how you guys have done it for like three months or six months, you know. Right, I'm just going to straighten this rig out so I've got the sinker between. <laughs> Crypto, how are you, bud? Oh, feather jigs. Yeah, what do you expect, Paul, with a head this size? 10 weeks, my word. 10 weeks, I would have gone absolutely bloody mental. A lot of the old timers with Mulloway, and I even do it, I bait my um, baits backwards because everybody thinks that they hit head first, like they're a look you need or whatever or one of that like uh, type of family of fish. And um, I need to double check that anyway. So a lot of the old timers here will bait for Mulloway with the bait on backwards, yet with salmon they fish it the right way, so. And I mean, it's strange, isn't it? We've been underwater with snorkels and that looking. And, you know, friends have had footage where they've gone under and a fish has gone like that to a bait and just sat there for God knows how long and then out of nowhere, just gone whammo, you know? Hit the fish, no particular reason or indicator. The fins dropped, the dorsal fin went back and just whoompa into it, you know, so. Okay. Thanks, Planet Hunter. What are you talking about, 468? I don't understand what you mean. We don't have emotes in here. We're not uh, partnered yet. All right, we'll bring that to get the hook out of the fish. Ouch. Yeah, there's many schools of for 200 days, wow. There's a many different schools of thought, Jordan. Some people like to give the Mulloway time to set the, you know, to mouth the bait. Other people like to strike straight away, especially in the surf, you know, so 
it just depends. But usually in the surf, you'll know if a mulloway um, has hit your bait because the rod shakes in the rod holder and then drops down, you know, so they, the big ones virtually set themselves. Um, 468, with all due respect, mate, what are you on about? I don't understand why you... <laughs> <I don't... laughs> yeah, they do, Paul. Melbourne gets the gold medal. They won the Olympics. Yeah, that's right, Jordan. Uh, especially if you fish structure and shipping channels and that sort of stuff, you know? Uh, I think Streamlabs, I mean, you can use emotes, but... Hey, Ewan, how are you, bud? What's going on? 111 days, Johnny. All right. Just in front of that snag was where we got all the brim yesterday, fam. So once that sound, sound, once that sun drops down under that tree line there, right, then we should see some interesting stuff. This river does fish better at night than it does in the day, apparently. Oh, we don't know how lucky we are, Devil Rocks. You know, I mean, wow. And this is good, fam. You know, we've only been able to do brim fishing streams recently because of the weather. It still, it still really hasn't broken yet. I mean, the river was muddy for months on end. It's just started to clear up here. So hopefully with the river clearing up, you know, we can start getting a few more fish now. But if we have more rain and there's runoff and it brings all the sand in and all the soil from the um, paddocks and that, Waiting for the football to kick off. Oh, who's playing, mate? Yeah, we don't know how lucky we are in WA, mate. And look, people, thank you very, very much. We've got 21 viewers. That is greatly appreciated. Seriously. Let me just check that I'm getting... Oh, Rangers and Celtic. Very interesting. Yeah. Hey, Ninja, how are you, bud? Welcome to the stream, mate. And look, thanks, people. We've got over 20 viewers. When I was on Twitch, it took me 18 months to do that. You know? What's your prediction, Ewan? What are your predictions for the old firm game? Do you think that uh, Ange is going to get one over on Stevie G or? I'll tell you what, one player for Rangers that impresses me is young Haji from Romania. I remember watching his dad play it in the um, World Cup qualifying games years ago, you know? He was an absolutely outstanding footballer. I think he played with either... Was it Madrid or Barcelona? One of those teams. He was absolutely brilliant. I mean, even the Brazilians rated him, you know. All right, fam. So, our line just straightened up for a second there. I'm going to resist the temptation to try and set the hook. We're going to hope that it sets the hook itself. When you use two swivels, right, a fish will pick up the bait and turn, and it will swim off. The moment it feels the weight from the other swivel, it will either drop it, okay or it'll set the hook itself so we're hoping the ladder you know <coughs> 
<laughs> yeah, when Rangers lost that game early in the year, he wasn't playing, was he? Come on. It's just nice to be able to chill out, come down to the river and just, you know, cast a bait out and relax, fam. You know what I mean? Just, oh. I'm not doing this to stir up anyone in lockdown either, you know. But hopefully by Friday, apparently we've got rain till Thursday this week. Hopefully by Friday we'll be able to get out and do a bit of beach fishing, okay? I've got all the gear sorted. <laughs> Wouldn't go that far, Johnny. No, the boat went back in accordance with the uh, sponsorship agreement, mate. The insurance ran out in June, so then we gave it back. So, you know, and at the moment with COVID and that sort of stuff, supplies are a real issue. So, you know, when we get another one, when it happens, it happens. You know what I mean? So doesn't change anything we just did the right thing with the old one so yeah Very quiet this afternoon. The cold weather front came over. I don't know whether that's sort of quieted them down a bit, but hopefully just on dark we'll get some fish, you know. Was he? Oh, that'll pump him up. Oh, okay, Ninja. James, what was your old username? On Twitch, if you don't mind me asking, because I'll probably remember from that. Hey, Michael, how are you going? Oh, when we get another one, mate, whenever that happens, you know? So, I mean, WA's okay, but some people have been waiting for parts for boats for four or five months, fam. So, yeah, it's all good, but um, just waiting to see. We are going to start doing boat reviews, so we're going to get given a boat to take out and use live on YouTube. Okay, so when that happens, it happens, but the boating whether he's not going to be with us for a while anyway, you know. Oh, creative soups. Okay. <laughs> I remember, mate. Sorry, James. Yes, the good old days. Back in the heady days of the 80s, eh? Craig Johnson, do you know that his parents sold their house in Sydney and moved to England with him so he could try and make it <coughs> as a footballer and um, he was born in South Africa so that's a great story and he invented that what boot was it from Puma oh I can't remember you know not yet Michael we landed one fish and got uh, lost in the snags close to us what was it three yesterday so um, hopefully they'll start coming on the bite soon. Towards dark, it should get better. Once this all goes like darker from the sun hitting the treetops and that, we should be okay. Then I'll put the headlamp on and away we go.
What do you mean, what about Ben Cousins, 468? If you want to see the first ever modern defender, fam, okay, go and Google Alan Hansen playing for Liverpool, the ex-Scottish centre-back. He was unbelievable. Yeah, that's right, James. <laughs> I'm still using... Hey, Ewan, I'm doing a Liverpool career mode at the moment. It's in the videos. One got released at 4 o'clock. So I'm doing it on world class. If you want to have a good laugh, I've done a Liverpool career mode. I didn't sign Ross McCrory, though, but I did use him on another one that I was rehearsing for. But the game's still really bad with the mechanics of it, so I'm hoping FIFA 22 is a much better product. Righto, fam, we've had a cloud go over the sun, so hopefully things start to cheer up a bit now. Come on, get on with it. Oh, well, that's good. Glad to hear it. Oh, that's good, Johnny. What's he doing now? Do you remember that goal that he scored in the FA Cup when they beat Everton? Just excuse me for a second, fam. Oh, nice, that's definitely charged. Excellent, that didn't take long, did it? Mm. Wow, that's charged in a hurry. Okay, Johnny, thanks, mate. Excellent, everything's charging. I'm glad that Benny Cousins has turned his life around because that poor bugger was under a lot of pressure from a young age, you know?
I remember watching his dad play football on telly. He was unbelievable. Okay, we've got a rain cloud coming over, fam, so we will be hiding under the back of the ute soon. Oh. <laughs> I don't know yet. James, we're going to wait and see. Hopefully they, uh, you know take the bait so to speak you know oh let's just chill out for a second and wait for a bite that's all we can do famo half the time just sit back and wait for a bite you know i won't spoil your view of the river by being in it oh we got a bite we're on yeah oh we had a bite then fam bugger that's all right, I told you as soon, yep. I told you as soon as the sun disappeared, we got a bite, because the shade came across the river, all the way across the river, and we missed it. Hey, Penny Basher. Okay, so it's gonna be a good bite tonight. So let's get another little bait. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put just a little strip bait on, just a very small strip bait, and just expose the hook a little bit more, okay? So, as soon as I sat down, I knew it. We'll get it on this one. And remember, we fish catch and release on here, fam. What I might do, though, is I might bring the uh, bigger bait in closer just to attract the fish. Right. Let's just do that. Nice. Nice. All right, so once this defrosts, they might be onto it. Right, I'm just gonna bring this back just to the edge of that snag, right? And I'm just gonna let the fish do its own thing. All right, so now, now that the sun's behind those clouds, see how the whole river has darkened off? Okay, now they'll start coming in. When you've got a uh, really bright sunshine along the edges, sometimes you get them, but a lot of times you don't, you know? Mind you, if you're in a boat and you're, um, if you're in a boat and you're trolling lures, um, you do okay. But in terms of like here, I don't know, for some reason they just don't like hanging out in the, um, in the sun on this section. I very rarely catch them in close. I only catch them out there. But this is good. The whole river's like, you know, nighttime's fallen and all that. So we might be on tonight, fam. The other thing is too, when you cast your bait out for brim, avoid the, attempt the temptation of moving your bait around. I just chuck it out there, right, and leave it. And don't touch it. The longer it stays in the water, the more natural the presentation, you know? Especially with the bigger fish. Like the really bigger fish are quite finicky and shy. And um, I, I don't know, like it just seems to work, you know what I mean? So we'll just leave that there. I'm going to just stay a bit closer to the fishing rods, seeing as we got our first bite there, so... Just gone 10 past five.
All right, we're on again, fam. See that hit? That was a very good hit. Right, I'm going to move that forward. Come on, sunshine. You know you want to do it. That was another really good hit. Excellent. Oh, yeah, it got absolutely smashed. Right, I. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put another piece on here, right, and I'm going to totally conceal the hook. Um, no, it's all right, James. It actually is, mate, because I've got the line fairly tight and I'm using braid, so they do hook themselves, pal. All right, let's just get that out there. All right, let's just hide in the shade for a second. Actually, that's all right. The way we're going, we're going to get a bite, so I'm going to wait for it. Right, eh? Come on. All right, that's that first little shower gone. I think we're in for a wet night, fam. <laughs> Boo. Right, come on. What do you mean by fulcrum point, James? A little bit intrigued by that. Care to share? Uh, James, beg to differ there, sunshine. All I want that to do 
is indicate to me that there's a fish taking the bait, right? So that could have been a small fish, it could have been a large fish, we don't know. You're not gonna land every fish that you hook, right? So with that there, what'll happen is, with your so-called fulcrum point, that rod's gonna bend down to the guide where it's leaning on the tree. And trust me, this is demonstrably fine, mate. So. I've got braid with zero stretch. So the only thing that's got the stretch is the leader and the shock leader. So when it takes up the slack, that's when it happens, so. What's happening with that big bait? Let's have a look. Let's just chuck that there. Okay, we'll just do another mid-water presentation too with this. I'm just gonna chuck it in there and see if we can get a nice big brim with that. Leave that there, good. All right, hopefully we start getting into some fish. We've already had a couple of bites, so. I wonder if I've got my filleting knife. Hey there, Goosebump, how are you, mate? Uh, no, just on the edge here, buddy. You know, they're all through here, mate. Most of my hookups of uh, Mulloway and that sort of stuff have been across the other side of the river. It's actually quite shallow here. There we go. Lovely, come on, son, get in there. Well, there's a turn of events, fam. I had a massive hit there. And it snapped off the leader. What on earth was that? I've lost the swivels, the sinkers, everything. It wasn't a little whale swimming around biting or anything, was it? Oh, well, we'll find out in a minute. All right, time to do a new rig, famo. Interesting. Yeah, there's no crabs this far up at the moment, uh, Jordan. There's too much fresh water, mate. Right, let's redo the uh, shock leader and just work from there. Wow. Okay. That's very interesting. Huh. 
Right. I'm just going to do a uh, braid bimini join. Must have got snagged on something. Timmy Healy, how are you, mate? What are you doing? All right, let's get this sorted. Have we got anything to work with here or not? No. Okay, we'll be right. Uh, this is too fine to show you how to do the bimini twist on this famo. So I'll just get this all sorted. And then we'll uh, get this line sorted out again. Huh? Who banned Goosebumps? Goosebumps isn't banned, Jordan. Yeah, good, Timmy. Yourself? What's going on? I hope Mrs. Healy's doing well as well, mate. Yeah, no one's been banned. At all, Jordan. Yeah, why would he be banned for that, mate? He's just asking a question. All right, what I've done here. <laughs> hey, Will, how are you, bud? Welcome to the stream, mate. There's that little bit of sunset coming through now. Sorry to hear that, Ninja. I hope that you and your family are coping okay from that, mate.
Okay, so we've got our little shock leader now. We've got our bimini braid join, that's good. Let me just wind this in. What I'll do is I'll do another rig. Right, and let's see how we go. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Ninja. 95, well, that's a great innings, mate. It's one thing a lot of people can't deal with, including me, our mortality, you know what I mean? I'm bloody... Oh. Right, so, let's do another rig up. What's that, about 20 pound? I think so. What are you referring to, Jordan? Hey, Johnny, how are you, mate? Osteoporosis, oh, that's savage. Wow, okay. Yeah, it doesn't discriminate, does it, Ninja? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I hear you, Sith. No, we got a couple of bites, Johnny, and then this got bitten off, so don't know what the story is. Osteoporosis, yeah, it is, mate. Right, let's get another sinker and get onto it. <whistles> Much better, that's a good size sinker right there. I don't know, mate. I'm saying bitten off. No fish I'll ever say as they do a dodgy knot. Oh, asbestos, right, yep. How are you, Lowy? Thanks for coming in, mate. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Sometimes if there's a whaler swimming past and it brushes across the line... Um, yeah, that can cut it too, but I don't know. Right, let's get that down there. Oh, that's all right, mate. All oh, right, got it. Yep, asbestosis, righto. Right, now we'll get some 14 pound fluorocarbon and away we go. 
Some of the brim fish I use six pound just to get the bigger fish, you know? So we're just gonna withhold uh, using the torches just yet. Oh, right. No, I don't. Sorry. Great. They've had a bit of time. I'm sorry to hear that, Sith. All right, fam, so what we've got is another rig. We've got a little bean sinker between two swivels. I'm gonna make the distance between the swivels a bit longer now in case the fish are a bit bigger. So. Oh wow, I th oh, a while ago? Oh mate. I think that was in the Discord, wasn't it, Sith? Yeah, wow. Rightio, in we go again. Right, let's hope we get another bite. No, not at all, Goosebump. Just had enough of the platform, mate, you know? So, that's old news anyway, so. Your left arm and spine, Sith, wow. Hello, Cal Scott, how are you, bud? Welcome. Oh, yeah, according to the messages I got, but let's not worry about that old platform, mate. We'll just worry about YouTube, eh? You wouldn't be any good going through a metal detector, Sith, so... Right, let's hope so. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's, that's probably not...
x ray Air Force. <laughs> See, uh, bugger. Osteogenesis. Okay, Sif, I'll have a look at that. I actually haven't. Oh, osteo is to do with the bones, isn't it? Hey, uh, Jordan, you made a comment before, mate. What do you mean by that? I don't understand what you're referring to. I still don't know what you refer by that, Jordan, but anyway, that was on the old platform, mate, so this is a new one. Might go and get that headlamp. Did I forget to bring it? Oh shit. Is it in here something? I still don't know what you're referring to there, Jordan. So I don't understand the relevance of doing, you know, well, anyway, let's not worry about it. Manzi, how are you, bud? Yeah, not yet, Manzi. Couple of bites. <laughs> Something like that, Manzi.
All right, hopefully we'll start to get some bites just on dusk. Just got to be careful in case there's a few snakes around. Oh dear. Yes. That's an old twitch attitude. <laughs> anyway. Oh. That's one thing I do enjoy about YouTube, fam. There's no hype, you know what I mean? So. And just for the record, for anyone who's wondering out there, me shifting platforms was my choice and it's not open for comment from anyone else. So yeah, my choice. So I've done it off my own back, you know. So yeah, we'll just leave it at that, eh? All right. Well, hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we can get some. Uh... Yes, they were on the bite before. Now they're off the bite. Ah oh, dear. Yeah, that's exactly right, Johnny, you know. And I mean, every time someone <laughs> mentions Twitch and that sort of stuff, you know, it just drags this YouTube stream down a bit. But anyway, I've just twigged on something too. Uh. Yeah, 51, Sith. Oh, that's what it's about, James, you know, and I mean, sooner or later, you know, I mean, I haven't made anything from streaming in three months, mate. That's not what it's about, you know, and the good thing about YouTube is once we get partnered, all you have to do is watch the ads and YouTube generates an income from the ads and you don't have to reach into your own pocket, you know, so I mean, that's, yeah, that's the beauty of it and it's a much more relaxed much more chilled out environment you know what i mean and uh yeah there's no drama on here like the old platform so you know something i like, sith sith i look uh, sorry yeah sith i look great for 90. oh that's right johnny you know and then i mean yeah it's just <laughs> oh dear the funny thing is, fam, you've got to remember too, like, uh, and this is not directly um, relating to anyone, but you look at the situation now with um, all forms of social media, whether it's TikTok, Instagram, the old platform, YouTube, Facebook, or whatever, some people are doing anything to become relevant, right? So you can't really go anywhere anymore and live stream, right? Without requiring a license to do it. So, you know, if you're um, on like the old platform and you're partnered or whichever format you're partnered on or whatever, that's considered commercial filming. So, you know, you need to have a permit to do that. And the other thing is too, if you're like, you know, la di da di da streaming away and you have someone under 18 that walks into your stream, I mean, straight away, you're violating quite a lot of laws and bylaws. And I mean, even schools need permission from parents to do the school photography and that sort of stuff and photographs. So, you know, just because you're a streamer doesn't mean you get special privileges. And a lot of people aren't realising that. They seem to think that, you know, because they stream, they're entitled and they can do what they want. That's not the case at all. 
In fact, now it's going the other way. It's getting worse, you know? So. <laughs> hey, Jason, how are you, mate? <sighs> Jason, what was your username? Yeah, thanks, Jace. So, um, you know, and I mean, <laughs> one thing I've always done is try to, uh, is try to um, just, uh, you know, yeah, that's right, I'm not a full-time streamer, I've got a part-time job, so. And that is the difference, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, Jace, how you going? Okay, come on. Mm. Thanks, Ninja. Hey Freya, how you going mate? Welcome bud. Yeah, and that's one good thing about the YouTube channel, fam. I don't want any, like, you know, toxicity or negativity and anything like that. So, yeah, you know what I mean? That's the other good thing, too. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, Johnny. And it's a very interesting mindset, isn't it, you know? Um, we've done over, I think... Four and a half thousand hours of streaming and um, done a lot of good things, right? And uh, you know, <laughs> it's an interesting mindset when um, some people come in and try and sort of accuse you of being something that you're not. I find it very funny, so you know, you just got to laugh it off, man. I mean, people are entitled to their opinion, but sort of, uh, yeah, there is that underlying theme where some people think they got to run people down to make themselves like feel better which you know they can do it but i just don't have time for it mate sort of that sort of attitudes in the dark ages you know so right come on let's see what's happening here all right good work Come on. That's a bit better.
<laughs> oh, it is. Yeah, it is uh, Sith, you know. So, I mean, and it is. You can usually tell, yeah, when someone comes in and they've got a bee in their bonnet, you just, yeah, let them have their say and look, you know. I don't really give any attention to what anyone thinks about me. It means nothing to me. It's just water off a duck's back. You know, I've had thousands and thousands of derogatory comments on the old platform. So it's like, yeah, whatever, you know. And, um, <laughs> you know, my only concern is if it sort of starts dragging the stream down and the enjoyment for everyone else. And if that starts to happen, you know, and people start to get a bit hysterical, then it's like, see you later, you know. So... And I, I just twigged onto something from before. So, hey, echidna. Yeah, maybe a gelignite fly, echidna, you know? Yeah, maybe a gelignite fly, fly. That'd cause a lot of water movement, you know? And the other thing is too, uh, fam, if you actually knew how the old platform re really worked, Right, you would be um, shocked. Seriously, you would be shocked. But anyway, more about that later. So, Oh, really? <laughs> I'll get that sorted out later, MW. There's one other thing that I haven't tried, but... Uh... Yeah, I oh, will look at that, mate. I might even just remove the bot, I think. It'll be easiest. All right, famo. So, as we call it, the witching hour, you know? Hopefully we start to get some fish. This river does fish a lot better at night, especially for the bigger stuff. The mulloway and that seem to come out, so hopefully we can uh, hook one, you know. Well, Johnny, yeah, but the bot, you don't want the bot to sort of, um, yeah, a very illegal echidna. And look, people, thank you very, very much. We've got 27 people in here. Okay, and uh, when I was on the old platform, that took me nearly 18 months to achieve. I think it was 16 or 17 months when I was looking the other day. So, okay, well, I don't think we're going to get any boats down here. So how about we put out a fresh bait? We'll send this one across to the other side of the river where we've, um, you know... Come on, wait. That's not good. Get out of this, son. Huh? Rightio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave half of this over here. Like that. <laughs> it's... <laughs> yeah, I didn't bring the generator, though. I wanted to keep it quiet, you know. Because knowing my luck, if I had the generator here in the lights, someone would hear it and see him and go, oh, there's a guy on YouTube doing that. Hang on. And then it'd be like, oh, okay. You know what I mean? Right, let's go. So, we're going to send this across the river. <sighs> Lovely cast, if I say so myself.
That is roughly the area we hooked that mull away or shark that time on the muley fam. So I'm hoping, you know, history repeats itself. Let's get in here now. All right, so we got a branch there. At least we caught something, I guess. All right, now what I might do, might send this out just a little bit deeper. Come on. Like that. That's a bit better. Rightio. Set a nice drag. And there we go. Excellent. Now, nice and peaceful, all good. <laughs> That's exactly right, Ninja Man, you know. All right, so I've got my Arlec rechargeable light here. Okay. Rightio, we'll just leave that for a bit. Great. That's there. No, a kid, no, I don't think so. You would be amazed. Oh, really? Wow, Ninja. Yeah, I, I know where you're coming from. I think we'll probably do a fly tying stream tomorrow, fam, if I get make together. How to make 60 gig of data disappear in less than a week, <laughs> watch streamers. Yeah, I hear you, mate. I'll tell you what, this new modem, you know, 400 gig a month is about borderline. If you're an IRL streamer and you do, say, five, six hour streams a week, you'll get close to three to 400 gig, you know. It also depends what resolution you're streaming. So if you can get good resolution, um, sorry, if you can get good upload, you'll get good resolution, you know? And I mean, uh, yeah, it's just one of those things, isn't it? But watch the stream in 720p, not 1080, and you'll probably find that um, you'll lose a lot less, use a lot less download, but audio is another big one too, you know? So. <sighs> it's going to be a long night, Femo. It's going to be a very long night. Just give me a second. I just got to check on something, Fem.
the only time I've made any sense, I think. So, um, hang on a minute. Did that move? Get on with it. So, yeah, um, <laughs> hey, Jason, <laughs> muttered. Thanks, a kid. No, you know, I oh, know you got to have fur to be a dog, mate. But um, does anybody know what it's called? The interaction that a that a streamer has with their community, irrespective of what platform it is. Oh, <laughs> does anybody know what it's referred to? And this is the whole thing that the old like platform works off as well. For those of you that don't know, I'll let you know. That's right, Jason, it's a parasocial relationship. So, on any platform, whether it's TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, the old platform, whatever, if someone's watching someone who streams and they contribute to that stream, right, they think they have some purchase on what that person's doing. So you can have a negative parasocial relationship and you can have a positive parasocial relationship, okay? So on certain platforms, they use that parasocial relationship to absolutely milk the community, right? And it's really obvious who does that. And, you know... And, um, yeah, that's, that's how it works, really, so... Oh, is this off, is it, or hang on? Oh, it might be because I turned away. Right, as night falls. It's interesting, we haven't seen the dolphin up this stretch of the river either, Feb. So I can't report it. Now, well, it does to a certain extent, Sith, you know what I mean? That's why we're trying to keep it fairly um, like clean and upbeat, if you know what I'm saying. So let's get that going. Excellent. Did my eyes deceive me or did that move? Okay, hopefully we get a bite in the next few minutes. Probably, Jason. It depends what you want out of it. <laughs> oh, really? Really, Ninja, that's an interesting point, mate, because... I mean, on the old platform, I was the worst monetized streamer on there, and not very... Well, it, <laughs> they weren't happy about it, but that's how we did it, you know, so. And Lowy made a very interesting point before, you know. I have a part-time job fab, you know. <laughs> well, Sif, that's the other headache, mate, you know. Um, it's like when I got the boat sponsorship. All the hate, you know. Oh, how did you get a um, boat sponsorship? Easy. I deliver a stream, which is in turn a product that's sponsorable. Do you know what I'm saying? So...
And I mean, you know, in the last three months on streaming equipment alone, you know, generator, lights, uninterrupted power supply, inverter, modem, satellite dish, which is coming, and all the rest of it. I mean, I'm into the thousands with it, you know, but I work to do that and I put it back into the community, right? And no one told me to go and start streaming. I did it. So, you know, I do it off my own back, you know what I mean? So. All right, fam, we've got a bit of rain coming. Oh, it is slowy. <laughs> there is slowy. Hang on, fam, it's gonna be bad for a minute. Just gonna hide under here for a second, famo. Right, just give me a second. And knowing my luck, this is when they bite. All right, so just hang on. Can you see all the rain on the water? I've spent thousands of hours in my lifetime fishing for a brim like this, fam. Rod leaning against a, a branch, rain, and just chilling out, you know? I've lost count of how many hours. Yeah, it's in context, Jason, isn't it? You know, I mean, I swear too, but only when I'm really annoyed, right? And yeah, people that know me well enough, if I'm swearing, it's like, watch out. Just gonna hide around this side of the car till this rain goes, fam. Just give me a second. Oh, I'll tell you what, with the picture that you're getting there, because of the quality of these Samsung uh, cameras in the phones, right? How it looks there on the camera is nowhere nearly um, how it looks here. So, that actually looks nearly like daylight. Here, it's practically night time, fam, so. Good weather for ducks and drakes, you know what I mean, so. I'll go back to the chat in a second, famo. I'm just gonna sit out here and dry, keep dry. We'll try to keep dry anyway. It's a bit hard to keep dry when you've got a melon this size, you know. Right, yeah, it's a bit worse for wear. Need the old, need the old windscreen wipers, you know. We deserve a fish after this, you know what I mean? We really deserve a fish after this effort. Hey Jackson, how are you mate? What's going on? What? No, go away. So what happens when you get a wet phone screen, fam? It goes silly. Far enough, Jason, far enough, mate. Oh. Yeah, I mean, anything like that in life is fine in context, isn't it, fam, you know? That's right, SX, that's exactly right. Well, the funny thing is, but I mean, you know, in Australia, we swear, okay? It's like the C-bomb and the F-bomb. Over here, we use them as terms of affection, do you know what I mean? Yet overseas, 
you know, people call you names, oh, you shouldn't say that. It's like, well, you know, we don't mean anything bad by it. Just because we say it doesn't mean we hate them or whatever, you know. But, uh, yeah. Yet, you know, you call someone the sea bomb overseas, they want to shoot you. Here, it's like, get out of your old sea. You know what I mean? Is that a kangaroo? Hello. No, I don't know. Interesting. Hey, away from me, mozzies. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean, Johnny, you know. Jack, how are you, bud? Welcome. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Oh, this is heavy rain. Back in a minute. And thank you very much, people. There's 26 people watching. Okay, it's greatly appreciated you've given up your time to come in. And please do me a favour and everyone else and click on that like icon, yeah? Oh, Sunshine Coast, lovely part of the world. I flew over there once. Well, Essex, a lot of it comes down to, you know, intent. If you're this far away from someone and you're screaming it in their face, it doesn't really matter what you say, it comes across as offensive, you know? And I mean, oh dear. There is an Australian swear dictionary out there that is hilarious. I don't know who's got it or whether it's still made, but some of the explanations they have are unbelievable, you know? Oh, really? Okay. Oh. So people, we've got some very interesting streams coming up this year. I've just sent off all the written applications and that sort of stuff. So once we get that sorted, right, we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to start presenting the content once we've got it sorted. You know, man, it just went very, very cold. But that's yeah. I mean, just excuse me for a second, fam. I think that's pretty well full anyway, isn't it? No, let's have a look. Look at old Rodney Rude. Remember when he used to get his... They threatened to clean him up. He's like, it's just jokes, mate. It's just jokes. I uh, didn't watch it, mate. I don't have... Um, I didn't watch it. I don't have, what's it called? Optus? Most of my really big brim have been at night, Famo. Where's that, Jason? Oh, well, you've got two teams vying to be, you know on top of the uh, table in the Premier League, mate. Um, you know, Chelsea have spent massive money. They bought Lukaku. You know, they got Werner last year. 
Do you know what I mean? They've just invested. I mean, you look at Man City, you know, they spend 110 million on, um, they, they spend 110 million on um, Grealish. Now Ronaldo's gone to Manchester United, but that's football. Like Klopp said in the um, interview, mate, that's football. You know, you look at the squad and you think, oh, they're going to win 6-0 and then they lose, you know, or they win 1-0, you know what I mean? You can't really tell by the names in there. And I'm a firm believer that a, t a champion team will always beat a team of champions, you know? How do you... Texas Chile, okay. All oh, right, as in the um, Sunshine Coast, interesting. Oh, they are echidna. This is one that I bought. This is the Navara headlamp that I bought from a... Um, it's the ALS. This is rechargeable. So what you can do is that actually... Whoops. That'll actually stick to your metal on your car, right? You can hear that sticking. And then... Um, the other thing is too, it's rechargeable. It cost me about $160, but compared to the money I've spent on inferior headlamps, this was a uh, no-brainer, you know what I mean? Once I figure out how to put it back. There we go. No beans. <laughs> Oh, well, Jackson. Hey, Renee. How are you, mate? Welcome to the stream. And this is great, fam. This is great. This is exactly the sort of chat that we want in the stream, you know? And like I said to you, mate, I don't really... If, <laughs> if I showed you... Um, some of the um, hate mail I've had since I've left the platform and while I was at the other platform, right? You'd be absolutely just, you know, you'd be shocked. So, um, you know what I mean? And the people that want to be here are welcome here. And, you know, the ones that come in and bang on, it's like, yeah, look, whatever. There's plenty of streamers there. Just, you know, you go for it, mate, because, you know, you've got the final say, you know what I'm saying? So, oh, really, Jackson? <laughs> well, SX, I got, um, I got, when I got the, the boat sponsorship, I had a few emails that got sent to the dealer writing me off. Pretty bad, actually. But, you know, the people that matter know what I'm about. So there you go. We provided all that beautiful content for everyone and everyone was happy, you know. And, um... You've got to laugh it off, though. <laughs> oh, keyboard warriors, they're amazing, aren't they? Yeah, well, that's right. Oh, do you? <laughs> yeah, so you just laugh it off, man. You know, it doesn't change... Uh, anyone as a person or anything like that it's just uh, yeah you just keep doing what you're doing and the other good thing is too unfortunately nowadays that's an indication that you're becoming relevant is when people try and run you down you know so I mean we had we had 3.73 million views on the old platform and don't worry eventually we're gonna get you know more than that on here it's just a question of timing and when, you know. <coughs> oh, that's right, Ninja, you know. <coughs> oh, excuse me. This is my favourite time on a river, just on dark. You know, you got the headlamp on, you're sort of going through, you know what I mean? You don't know what's around the corner. You'll hear a noise and go, what was that? You'll, you know, see something slithering through the grass and you're right, I'm not going to walk there, you know. So, um, yeah. The energy at night is totally different to the energy at day, fam. Right? And the other thing is at night, night 
anywhere around the waterway or in the bush and that sort of stuff, apart from crickets and all that sort of thing, you know, it becomes quite still. So you can hear stuff from a lot further away, you know. And uh, totally different world, you know what I mean? Eater of crabs, how are you, mate? Uh, it's actually evening here, mate, but I hope you're having a good day too. Canberra, okay, where do you fish in Canberra? Main, mainly echidna. And people, thank you very much. We've got 30 viewers at the moment. That's awesome. I really appreciate your time. Okay, thank you very, very much for, for watching the stream. There's 30 people in here. That is absolutely awesome. Okay, thank you very, very much for giving up your time. That's great. I just need to reward everyone with a fish, you know what I mean? And look, this is the bit that you don't see on the fishing shows. This is real, fam. You put in hours upon hours upon hours of time fishing, you know? And, I mean, we have the same techniques and all that sort of stuff as, um, you know, everyone else, although mine are probably a little bit different because they're a bit more old school. But this is what fishing's about. You put in the time, right, and you reap the reward. So, you know, I was really burnt out when I finished on the old platform. And now I've worked through that and the hunger and the passion for it is uh, stronger than ever. You know, and I mean, look, you know, the funny thing is, right? Oh, really, Essex? That's good. Yeah, but that's right, mate, you know? And um, people, the other thing is, I mean, um, you know, we've had some people coming in tonight saying, oh, I don't want to get banned for emotes. That's from the old platform, you know? I mean, we've moved on so far from there... And there's, yeah, it's like, really, mate, <laughs> how old are you at your next birthday? 12? You know what I mean? Like, really? You just got to laugh it off, you know? So, oh. And, I mean, yeah, you just got to laugh it off, man. That's right, mate. That's exactly right, Johnny. But, I mean, I can be a little bit stubborn like that. I, I can sit here and wait for a bite like this. As long as there's a line in the water, I'm good, you know? And even with freshwater fishing, you know what I mean? With freshwater fishing, so many people, they'll come in, one cast, two cast, oh, there's no fish here, off they go. So, if you're gonna fish freshwater, your first cast is this far back from the bank, right, and parallel to the bank straight down here, your next cast through there. So you fish all this area, right? Even the kookaburras agree with me. And you fish here, then you take a step, right? And the, it opens up. So then you fish in a complete fan out like this. And then after you've fished all of this area, you stand on the edge, you don't go, woohoo, I'm here, right? And then you cast out and you fish all of it, you know? That's an indication that it's just about to be nighttime. How Australian does that get, you know? Narima, okay. Oh, that's right, Ninja, you know? I mean, it's like, it's like the, um, the, the turtle rehabilitation streams that we do, you know? Um, I've donated and donated to the um, adopt a turtle program and we've organized some corporate sponsors for them you know what i mean to give something back to a worthy cause so <laughs> it's like that sith you know and i mean um 
Johnny, it's funny you mention that, mate. All the big, big, big fish of any species I've caught, 2 to 4 a.m. 100% agree with you on that, my friend. Especially, especially black brim down at Walpole and Augusta and those places, you know? Like falling asleep, shivering with the rod in the hand and getting woken up by the rod and it's nearly ripped out of your hands, you know what I mean? I've nearly had my religion changed a few times doing that. So... Hey, you're not meant to eat me head, although it is like an easy target. <laughs> oh, really? Neil, how are you, bud? Welcome to the stream, mate. How's things, mate? What are you doing? How's SA, mate? Are you good over there? Did Port win their first final, Neil, or not? We'll probably give it another 15 minutes, fam. What is it, 6.30? Johnny, we've been out at the, the beach before and we get those recliner chairs. So you can actually lean back, put a blanket or a, you know, doona over you or something, okay? And you can get a good night's sleep waiting for a bite. And then we'd put the bells on the rod tip and you'd hear it go off, you know? And I've seen a 50 pound braid rig with a 12 foot rod and I've seen the hit from a mulloway that was so savage, the rod tip, okay, like the rod tip um, nearly hit the water. Whoa, you know what I'm saying? And nothing for the rest of that day. So. That's exactly right, Ninja. Bit of a solo panel going on here, mate. Bit of a solar panel, mate. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Know what I mean, bruv? Well, I'm quite shocked because normally this fishes well at night. Especially on high tide, but high tide. Oh, look at that spider. Hello, mate. Hang on, fam. I think I've just seen a huge crawling spider. Shut up, bird. Where are you, bud? Come on, don't run off. I want to show you to the community. Yeah, yeah, whatever. That was a, uh, a cormorant. Lake Nilla, okay. Oh, did they? Who'd they play, Echidna? I haven't seen the um, finals. Let's have a look. Oh, let's do a finals update. Hey. Yeah, it's always hard to see. <laughs> Easiest way to get it, Sith, is just put a container of water down and leave the light on, and they always go to water. They love it because they lay their eggs in water and all sorts of stuff. <sighs> wow, Celtic and uh, Rangers at seven. That'll be interesting. Okay, AFL. Or, oh, hang on, fam. I just heard something get absolutely smacked on the surface over there. I don't think that was a duck. Let's look at fixtures. Matches, fixtures. All right, let's have a look. So, Port Thump Geelong. Wow. Geelong's interstate curse continues. GWS Giants beat Sydney at Sydney. Melbourne pumped the Lions and the Doggies destroyed the Bombers. So that means Sydney plays the Doggies. No. No. Who finished fifth? No. So the Lions play the winner of the Sydney game. And the Doggies play the losers of the Port game. I'll tell you what, if um, Geelong go out in straight sets, they won't be happy. <laughs> Sorry, Johnny. Oh. 
Oh dear. I've got some YouTube footage coming in the um, Marin season, fam. I've got access to about 11 kilometres of private river frontage on the Warren River. One spot, it's just absolutely inundated with tea trees and the roots grow like out into the water. And I'm going to get the um, webcam. I don't think I can get reception there. You hit the water with a spotlight and there's about 300 marin looking at you with these evil red eyes and they just slowly disappear into the uh, tree roots, you know. Glenn Pye, how are you, mate? Welcome to the stream. Who do you support, Johnny? Oh, they do echidna. They're attracted to it, mate. Heat and light. That's what they go for, you know. Oh, sorry to hear that, Johnny. Well, fam, it might be time to pack up soon. We've had a very quiet day compared to yesterday with this cold front that came through, which is a bit of a surprise. I literally cannot see in front of me because of all the mosquitoes, famo. There you go. Oh, do you? Okay. I'm a North supporter, fam. A much maligned North, North Melbourne supporter. Radio. So as you can see, it's starting to rain pretty heavy, but we're still out here putting in the hours. That's right on top of the bait that I just put out. Okay, Kidna. Yeah, Sith. Canadian geese do nothing for diplomacy between America and Canada, do they? Because a lot of Americans hate Canadian geese. We've never seen one here to compare, you know? So, I mean... TTV Bogan, how are you, mate? Now, Bogan, didn't you, Aussie Bogan, didn't you join some of our, um, didn't you join some of our PUBG tournaments and kick ass? What the hell's that? <laughs> nice use of the letter K, mate. <laughs> ah. Okay, what was your um what was your um Twitch username mate? Right, let's put that in there. Let's get in here. See this fam? Oh really? That's one of your best friends when you're an IRL streamer, electrical tape. Okay. Bogan, okay. Mate um the Bogan username became very, very popular on Twitch. Okay? And how you been going, mate? Are you safe in this lockdown? Bogan with four underscores. Okay. Someone's doing burnouts. All right, famo. Well, the fish won today. 
We had, you know, a couple of good hits early, but as soon as it night fell, that was it. We'll get them next time. Oh, no lockdown. You're lucky, bud. Oh, really, Johnny? Awesome. Now, people... Oh, you're welcome, Echidna. Thank you very, very much to everyone that came in. Okay, I really appreciate the fact that you've given up your time to watch the uh, stream in the rain. Okay? And uh, look, stay safe, stay well. Be the best person you can be every day. What I'll do is I'll show you the range of this uh, like headlamp and Bogan thanks for coming back in mate right so check this out fam okay where's the zoom on here is that the zoom I don't know but uh, to sort of um, like capture the interest of the camera you've got to have light you know what I'm saying so look um, stay safe and stay well be the best person you can be every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very, very much for giving up your time to come in. And I uh, look forward to seeing you tomorrow, fam. And uh, the best way you can support the stream is just watch the content, tell everyone about the content, and just let them know how it's a much better experience than on the old platform. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.